let's say you spend an hour, an hour and a half on the phone with this guy, he's not with the other decision influencer or he's not in a position to say, okay, let's go, right? You'll, you'll probably find some and you could probably tell in the sign or the, the buy signs throughout the first conversation, say, hey, you know what, I can close this. But in my opinion, I would take the extra step to line them up because okay. the delivery has to be in a way where they consume and digest the information, meaning that they don't feel like they're doing an impulse buy, right? And what I found is that if someone makes a decision right on the first go, they'll find it convenient, but at the same time, there's too many variables. Like I gotta run it by my spouse. Because the way that the market in the media, right? Everyone says rates are up, right? And this is just in the paper, and this is in the news. Like the market's bad, right? Values are up, but rates are up. Don't pull cash out from your home. You know, don't do debt consolidation. Don't refinance right now. And so if they're receiving this message, but we connect with one of them, the other person has not connected with us on that same message. And so we could have had a strong bond with that particular person that we pitched on that one call, but we're ultimately leaving it up to them to now sell the influencer, which is their spouse. It'd be kind of like, you know, if Jeremiah made a decision without you and you not knowing what decision you made, you'd be like, whoa, wait, hold on one second, right? Like the smart thing is to do, let's take a step back. Why did you do this? Why did you do that? And the truth is that most married couples, it's just a quick conversation. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, we're good. No, let's not, right? This is how my wife talks to me. Like, oh yeah, no, we're good. And then my wife's like, no, let's not do that. And then I'm like, okay, fine. You know, my wife said, no, okay, here, he's calling me back. Ah, <laughs> we're doing it right now um, for contract work for our kitchen and our bathroom, right? And so we're getting quotes. And of course, they're calling us back to see if we'll go forward with our quote. And if she made the decision without me, I would hold, I would say, stop, you know, just naturally because I wasn't there to make the decision on something that important. And I think that can play a role if you sell one of them. But also, again, it's just in a different market. You're at a higher rate. You're, you got too many different variables. So that's probably why they'll go ghost on you.